dear. I just want to make sure you have everything ready for your baby shower. I just want to remind you that I'm here if you have any questions or concerns or need any help with anything. I am at your beck and call. Oh, that's so sweet. But you really don't need to do all of this. Nonsense! You're carrying my first grandchild. I don't want you to have to worry about a thing. My husband and I are so excited that we finally have a grandchild on the way. Especially after trying to convince the rest of my kids to have children already. But you know how stubborn people can be. I'm so glad that you're not like that. You're like the daughter of my dreams. <laughs> That's so sweet. And I'm very grateful for all the help you've been giving us, Christine. It's honestly been a big weight off my shoulders. I mean, of course, Martin has been helpful as well, but there are just some things that men don't understand. One of them is carrying a child and organizing a baby shower. <laughs> That's for sure. And really, it's quite unnatural for a man to try and help plan things like this. Well, Martin always wanted to be really involved. That's why he's such a great husband. And honestly, it shouldn't be that way anyways. Women shouldn't have to be the ones who have to worry about everything concerning a pregnancy and planning events. It should be a combined effort, don't you agree? Oh, you kids are so funny with all your modern ideas. It's a good thing that I'm here helping you out. Who knows how this child would end up? <laughs> I'm sure the child will be fine. Of course! I wouldn't suggest otherwise. Yeah, sure. Everything seems to be going fine. I'm getting all of my RSVPs back. It looks like everyone on the guest list should be there. Remind me again, dear, how many people are going to be there? I think around 35 people. Oh, wow! I had no idea you had such a big family. Some of my friends are coming too, and some of my coworkers. You know, people that I know are going to be really supportive and would want to be there for my baby shower. Really? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I want to have the people I'm closest to there with me? It's a special occasion that everyone should be able to celebrate with me. I completely agree with that, dear. But I can't help but think that 35 people might be… overwhelming? You know, having a baby is a really exciting time for everyone, but it's extra important to the family. Don't you agree? Well, I've been friends with some of my girlfriends for, like, over a decade. We've always dreamed about the day that one of us would be pregnant. They're basically my family. Yeah, of course. I wouldn't say otherwise. But I always thought that celebrations like this should be more intimate. What do you mean? I don't want to step on any toes or anything. Of course, this is your special day, your baby shower. I'm just the grandma or whatever. I value your opinions, Christine. You're my mother-in-law. And like you said, this is your first grandchild. I understand that you're really excited and want everything to go perfectly, and I admire that. And I also can't deny that you've been such a big help with everything, from figuring out my registry to picking out nursery furniture. It's hard having my mother live several hours away, so I'm grateful that you're here, in the same city. With all that being said, I do value your opinion and want to know what you mean. Well, back in my day, baby showers were always intimate affairs. But even then, I wouldn't want you to feel like you can't focus on having a good time because you're busy entertaining everyone. I'm very much a family type of person and think that only family should be there. I guess I've never really thought about it like that. That actually makes a lot of sense. So, maybe we could do without a few of the friends and co-workers. Well, how about this? I don't want to have to uninvite anyone, especially after they've already RSVP'd. I'll have two baby showers. Two baby showers? Are you sure that's not a little bit… greedy? What? Of course not. It's like you said, baby showers are for celebrating new life with the people I'm closest to. I'll have a baby shower for my friends and co-workers, and then I'll have a separate baby shower with my family. It'll be great. Oh, okay. That's not exactly what I meant, but whatever makes you happy. I think doing it this way will ensure that everyone is happy and gets what they want. And it's like I said, my friends are basically my family at this point, and my coworkers are all really supportive. I don't think I would feel good about uninviting them. They want to be there to celebrate with me, so they will. 
But if you only want family there, then we'll just have a gathering with only family and then a separate one for friends and co-workers. Is that okay? Of course, dear. Whatever you want. You're the one that's having the baby. Thank you, Christine. Now, what are you going to wear? Oh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. Really? Honey, the baby shower is this weekend. I know, I guess I just kind of got caught up in all of the planning and everything. Besides, being over seven months pregnant really doesn't make me want to shop for clothes. <laughs> you need to look your best, especially with a professional photographer. Wait, you got a professional photographer? Since when? Well, of course we need a professional photographer. We need these photos to turn out fantastic. Something that everyone will like having hung up in their home. Are you sure that's not going a bit too overboard? Nonsense! Trust me, you're going to thank me. I just mean, with the catering and booking that lavish room in the hotel, it all just seems like a lot for an intimate family get-together. Are you worried about money? Because I'm more than happy to pay. No, no, you've already paid so much, including the photographer, I suspect. And Martin and I are fine with money. I just mean that I thought you wanted it to be more intimate. To me, a photographer doesn't scream intimate, you know? You're just gonna have to trust me on this, dear. Now, I'll pick you up tomorrow to go shopping. Shopping? For your new dress. Oh, I don't know if I want a new dress. I was thinking maybe something a bit more comfortable. See? This is why you need me here, so I can help you make the right decisions. You'll need a dress. Oh, okay. Whatever you say, Christine. Exactly, dear. I told you that you were the best daughter I could have ever wanted. <laughs> well, I gotta go, but I'll pick you up at noon tomorrow. I have work. They'll understand. Got to go. Oh, okay. See you tomorrow, I guess. And you just went along with everything? Well, obviously. She's Martin's mother. It's not like I could say no to her. She's taking complete control of your baby shower. Oh, wait. I mean both of your baby showers. I can't believe that she told you that she only wants a family at the baby shower. I know. I tried to explain to her that my friends are basically like my family, even some of my coworkers, but I guess she doesn't see it like that. It was honestly quick thinking on my part to make it two separate baby showers. I feel like she would have uninvited my friends and coworkers herself if she could have. Yeah, that would not go down well, especially after the RSVP. I know, I don't know what to do. Well, it is your baby and baby shower. You could just tell her no. You have not met Christine. Actually, I did. At your wedding, remember? And? How long did you talk to her then? Like, two minutes? Exactly. Christine is very... controlling. Not in a bad way, kind of just an annoying one. I know that she's being really helpful, and I am really grateful for everything she's done for me. I just don't want her to feel left out. So, you're letting her control everything? What has Martin said about it? I haven't even really talked to Martin about it. As far as he's concerned, he thinks that we're having the best time of our lives planning everything together. I mean, maybe not really. He's well aware of how controlling his mother can be. He's probably worried about me, but doesn't want to say anything. Such a sweet and docile man. Leave him alone. He tried to give a few of his ideas for the baby shower, and you should have seen the way Christine glared at him. She shot down any suggestions from him in a heartbeat. That sucks. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. It's just crazy to me that she doesn't realize what she's doing. At least when mom became kind of a control freak when I came to our graduation, she was able to pull back a little when she realized how upset she was making us. Well, you did throw a big fit. Only because she was going to make me wear that horrible purple sparkly dress. You know, the one that went up to my neck? I don't even think she would wear that back in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, that was such a terrible dress. I am so excited for you and mom to get here. You're flying in on Friday, right? Yes. Fantastic. I wish you were flying in today, but I guess I'll just have to settle for Friday. Why today? Christine's taking me shopping for a baby shower dress. 
I just know that there's going to be so much pink and so many ruffles. Hmm. It would be a real shame if that dress suddenly went missing, hey? Or, you know, maybe got ruined at the dry cleaners? If you found a way to ruin my dress and blame it on someone else so that I could wear whatever I want, I will love you forever. You know, you're kind of obligated to love me forever. I'm your sister. Half. Ouch! <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know I love you. But I would love you a whole lot more if you were able to get rid of whatever monstrosity Christine is going to make me wear. Always so dramatic. Come on. I am very pregnant. My ankles are swollen and I just want to be comfortable. I don't want to try and squeeze myself into some maternity dress that I'll look like a flamingo in. I'll see what I can do. But if your mother-in-law comes after me, I'm blaming it on you. I don't think either of us are ready for that. <laughs> I'll see you Friday. I gotta go. See you Friday. Martin will be picking you guys up. I can't wait for the whole family to be together again. It's been ages since we were all in the same room. Well, that's what you get for moving to the city with Martin. You know, it's never too late to cancel your flight. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Have a safe flight. I'll see you when you get here. Love you. Love you too, sis. Okay, so we may or may not have a problem. A problem? You know, it's kind of late for us to second guess our marriage. We're literally about to have a baby. You know I'm not talking about that. <laughs> I know, I know. I just wanted to pull your leg a little. Anyways, what do you mean by trouble? Well, after you guys came back from dress shopping, I was talking to my mom in the kitchen, and I let it slip that I'm picking up your family from the airport. Okay... I'm having a hard time seeing where the trouble is. Well, she was just wondering how many people that would be and if they would all fit in my vehicle. And I kind of mentioned that Allison was only your half-sister. She's just my sister. My family really doesn't do any of the half stuff. Yeah, I know. But my mother was really interrogating me and didn't remember who Allison was. So I kind of explained with a bit more detail than I was meaning to. She was mainly confused about why Allison and you didn't look a whole lot alike. She remembered her from the wedding, but thought she was a cousin or something, not your sister. Then I ended up explaining that she was your half-sister. Oh, and what did Christine have to say about that? Well, she hasn't said much about it, but I'm afraid that she might. I know that you've probably been having a bit of trouble with her, haven't you? I know my mother and how controlling she is. And you were saying that she just wanted family at the baby shower, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure if she actually meant this, but she kind of scoffed and said that she was sure she had talked to you and that only family was allowed. Yeah, she made it pretty clear that she only wanted the family at the baby shower. That's why we're having two baby showers now, one for my friends and one for the rest of the family. I think that she meant that she doesn't see Allison as being your actual family. What? That's crazy. She doesn't actually believe that, does she? Who even thinks like that? I don't know. All I know is my mother is a bit crazy. And a perfectionist. She really just wants an intimate baby shower, and I think that because I said half-sister, suddenly Allison isn't your immediate family. Which is crazy, since she is your little sister. Exactly. I mean, sure, when we're joking around, I'll throw in a half-sister comment, but we've never really subscribed to the whole we have different dads kind of thing. She's always just been my sister. That's the way we were raised. I don't see why Christine would have a problem with that. I hope she doesn't. But she kind of scoffed at it and made a comment, and now I'm scared that she might try and get you to uninvite Allison. Wow, that is so not happening. I mean, her flight is this afternoon. It's kind of too late for that. I know. I just wanted to give you a heads up. I feel like I should talk to her sometime today before she meets everyone at the baby shower. She's meeting everyone at the dinner tonight. Remember? We're going out to that restaurant. Oh, wow. I totally forgot that we were supposed to go out to eat with the family. Damn it. I really hope my mother doesn't say anything to Allison or even to you. I'll try and talk to her beforehand. I'm sure it will be fine. She might have just made that comment and we'll drop it. I don't know. It's my mother. Yeah, but I can hope. How about we'll both keep an eye on her? 
Yeah, I'll make sure that she doesn't get too many words in with Allison. I don't want Allison to feel like I agree with Christine or something. She would be devastated. Absolutely. Wow, I guess we're going to be playing both entertainer and buffer for our family tonight. I thought our wedding would be the most stressful night of our lives. I wish, but I know that we got this. We make a great team. Yes, we do. You know, I'm so sorry that we kind of have to deal with my mother. I think she's just trying to make up for all the time lost when I was a kid. You mean when she left your family for an entire year? Yeah, she was really serious about that guy. I still can't believe your dad took her back. Yeah, me either. But, you know, I was 11 and I was just happy that my mom was back with our family. But she came back very controlling. I know that she's helpful in some aspects, but it can't be very fun having to deal with her 24-7, especially since this is her first grandchild. I've been managing, mostly by just agreeing with her. I don't want to fight with her. I mean, you know how much of a stink she put up at the wedding. I just want to appease her at this point. I'm so sorry, honey. I should stand up to her more. But just after everything she said when I gave my ideas for the baby shower, I guess I felt kind of defeated by her. She's kind of like a necessary evil, isn't she? Maybe just a little bit. But she's also been helpful. But again, it doesn't come without me being insulted every couple of minutes. You know, we shouldn't have to deal with this kind of thing. Let's say this. We'll keep an eye on her, but if she says something to Allison, then she's uninvited to the baby shower. She may be excited for the baby, and I'm happy that she is, but she has no right to talk to us the way that she does and to make you uninvite your friends and coworkers from your own baby shower. Are you sure? I don't think she would ever talk to us again if we uninvited her from the baby shower. Well, just think about it this way. Would you rather have two separate baby showers? One with your family where you have to deal with your mother-in-law trying to control everything, and another baby shower with your friends and coworkers that would be nice, but your family isn't there? Or would you rather just have the baby shower you were already planning on having with your friends, coworkers, and family, and without having to worry about my mother? Yeah, I guess you're right. I just feel kind of bad. You should feel worse by having to appease her while entertaining everyone at the baby shower. I know. Yeah, this is the right thing to do. If she says anything bad to Allison or tries to uninvite her or something, then she'll be the one that's uninvited. I'd rather have my actual family there rather than just my mother-in-law. I know that she's related to you, but she's not actually related to me. So, technically, it would still just be an intimate family affair even without her. Exactly. I love you, and I will support you either way. I hope you know that. Thank you, honey. I love you too. Hi, can we talk? Yeah, what's up? Do you have everything you need in the guest room? Yeah, everything's great. I know that you're kind of busy picking up a few last minute things. I don't want to take up any of your time. Whoa, what's going on? This doesn't sound like you. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's nothing, but I just wanted to confirm that you actually want me at your baby shower. Whoa, what? Of course I want you at my baby shower. I can't have this baby without my sister being with me. Are you sure? You really mean that? I don't want you to feel obligated to just say yes. I know that you do that with Christine a lot just so you don't have to fight with her, and if you're doing that with me, I think I would rather you just tell me to my face rather than have to put up with me. Put up with you? Why are you saying this? You're literally my sister. I'm your half-sister. Yeah, that doesn't really mean anything. We have literally been sisters since the day you were born. We grew up together. We did each other's hair. We fought over boys. We bullied each other. We did everything we were supposed to do as sisters. Where is this all coming from? Yes, you're right. I'm so sorry. I guess I just let Christine in my head. What? What do you mean? Well, yesterday at the dinner, when everyone was paying, Christine kind of pulled me aside and said some things. What kind of things? Well, she said that she didn't want to be the one to tell me, but she felt like she needed to because you weren't going to say anything. She basically said that you don't see me as your actual sister and that you felt obligated to invite me. She said that it would probably be best if I didn't go to the baby shower so I don't stress you and the baby out. She sounded so sincere and I believed her. Even though now I know that that was crazy. We're sisters. I should know that. 
I just didn't want anything to go wrong with you or the baby or the baby shower. I can't believe that woman. I knew she would do something like this. You're my sister. I want you there. Scratch that. I need you there. I can't do this without you, period. Of course you're invited, and I want you there. In fact, I would rather have you there than anyone else. You're not just saying that? Because, again, I know that you don't like confrontation. If you don't want me there, please just tell me. Okay, listen to me very carefully. You're my sister. I need you to be with me when I have this baby. Okay, okay. Sorry, I guess I just let Christine get into my head. Ugh, now I know why you kind of just go along with everything she says. She is a force to be reckoned with. I can't believe she convinced me that you didn't want me at your baby shower. Martin and I were expecting her to pull something like this. Just know that we want you there, and that whatever Christine told you was an absolute lie. In fact, we're probably going to uninvite her. Oh, you don't need to do anything on my behalf. If you want her there, invite her. I'll just keep my distance. No, we already discussed this before anything happened. Christine has been wearing me down, and I wouldn't have fun if she were there. In fact, I'm keeping my friends and co-workers at this baby shower. No more two baby showers just because Christine wants only family there. We're just going to uninvite Christine. Are you sure? Absolutely. Good. Okay, Christine, we need to talk. Great, because I have a few words for you, Missy. What? Yeah, I just found out that your dress suddenly got ruined. That cousin of yours just told me. Wait, what? Cousin? Ashley. You mean Allison? Yeah, that one. Allison is my sister. No, she isn't. Yes, she is. Martin already told me that she's your half-sister. You don't even have the same dad. So what? That doesn't mean she isn't my sister. Okay, I don't have time to argue about this. Your dress. I know it'll be tight, timing-wise, but I'll run to the store and pick you up another. No thank you. I'll just wear what I want. What? I'm done bowing to your every whim. This is my baby shower. What? Whim? I'm just helping out. You said how helpful I've been yourself. Where is this coming from? All I want is to be helpful, dear. <laughs> no, you just want to control me, the same way you've tried to control Martin and everyone around you. Nonsense! You're speaking nonsense, darling. Oh, really? Because Allison told me what you said, how you tried to uninvite her from my baby shower. She can't come. <laughs> She's not related to you. Neither are you, and everybody hates you anyway. Not even your son wants you there. Huh? Yeah, Martin and I have been putting up with you and your backhanded comments for far too long. I know you feel guilty about leaving him and his dad all those years ago, but that doesn't give you the right to control every part of his life. I'm his mother. I know what's best for him, in the same way I know what's best for you and this baby. And having fake siblings around isn't good for you fake sibling. Allison is my real, full-blooded sister. I don't care that she has a different dad. Neither does my family. Not even my biological dad cares, even though my mother is married to Allison's dad now. No one cares but you. You've been helpful, truly. But Martin and I can take it from here. You're not invited to my baby shower. What? You can't do that. I'll take back my deposit on everything I paid for. Go ahead. I didn't want to hang out in some stuffy hotel ballroom anyways, and no one needs a professional photographer at a baby shower. No, please don't. I'm family. No, you're not. At least, not to me. I won't deny you your grandchild. I'm not mean like that. But only if you let me and Martin live our lives the way we want to. But I know best. Final warning, Christine. Fine. I won't go to your stupid baby shower. Great, then it's sure to be a fun time. Goodbye, Christine. How dare you? Hello? You can't ignore me. Christine did take back her deposit on the thing she paid for. Thankfully, she only paid for things she wanted. 
Instead, my mom and sister helped me set up our house and backyard all morning, and we had a lovely, intimate baby shower with everyone I love there. Turns out Christine was right about one thing. Having an intimate gathering with those closest to me really was the best way to celebrate my pregnancy.